Welcome to Tech Shorts, a collection of hints, tips, and tricks to make you a more effective ServiceNow developer. I'm Chuck Tomasi. In this episode, I'm going to check that a due date is valid on a record if it gets changed. As we built out the safety application, clever users have noticed a few loopholes in the system. They found they can get better service by setting the due date to a date in the past. I'm going to create what's known as a business rule to watch for that and provide an error message if it happens before the record is saved. Some platforms refer to these as database triggers or something similar. In ServiceNow, business rules are one of the most common development features used to drive process automation. First, I'll go to Studio, open up my safety application, and I'll create a new business rule under Create Application File, Server Development Business Rule. The name helps me determine what it is in the future. The table tells the business rule which records to watch for. And under when to run, I'm going to check insert and update, similar to what I did in the notification video. Since someone could enter an invalid date on a new or existing record, I'm going to check both. And finally, I tell it that I only want the business rule to run when the due date changes and the date is in the past. On the action section of the form, I won't be setting any fields, but I do want to display a message if the previous condition is met. And if that happens, stop the business rules so that the bad value is not saved. Finally, I save the new business rule. Back on the list of safety issues, I can test this out on any record by setting the due date in the past and try to save my work. And I get an error message. Until I provide a valid due date in the future. There are a lot more things you can do with business rules when a record is created, read, saved, or deleted. If you want to find out more, take a look at the product documentation page listed here, and I invite you to get familiar with the best practices page on the developer site to avoid common mistakes when using business rules. I also invite you to visit developer.servicenow.com to get a free developer instance to try the concepts demonstrated in this video and learn more about building business applications fast on ServiceNow. Be sure to watch the other videos in this series to be a more effective ServiceNow developer. Thanks for watching.